So my first idea after doing retexturing is thinking about whether it's possible to retexture photogrammetry. So photogrammetry is kind of that thing where you take a bunch of pictures and then you create a 3D model with it. And the textures that come out from that are pretty messy. They're not the cleanest textures. So I was really curious about how good of a job stable diffusion would do. So the UV maps end up being incredibly important for whether this actually works or not. So a lot of times the UV maps that the photogrammetry spits out end up being too fractured. So they end up having too small of pieces. When those go through stable diffusion, it ends up creating really small chunks. You end up with a lot of black spots everywhere. It doesn't work super well. But if you do remeshing and you do some UV reprojections, so you make the chunks larger, that allows stable diffusion to kind of see more consistency in your image. And that allows it to do a much better job of the actual projecting. So I also wanted to show some of the raw texture images. And so you can see that they actually do a very good job of changing the theme. Uh, but the one issue is that all of the shapes end up, it, like it, it tries to respect the shape, but the shapes are still changed enough that all of the UV maps kind of alter it significantly enough that it kind of creates some weird images. You kind of want your UV map to be more regular than they are right now. So uh, the UV maps that this is using are not equal sizes. So a lot of the triangles are larger and smaller. And so you end up with a lot of warping of these really interesting shapes. So you can see some interesting things like leaves and like planets and other things that are really clear objects. But once those get mapped back into the texture, they end up getting warped so much that you can't really see the themes that go on. So you really do need to do some sort of UV remapping. Okay, so <laughs> I think it's a good time to do a full review of the kind of step-by-step -step process that we're taking. So we're taking a bunch of pictures or video of what we want to retexture. Then we're using photogrammetry, so Meshroom in particular, to get a 3D mesh from that those sets of pictures. With that 3D mesh, we are going to be remeshing it. And then we have to project some new UV maps onto the textures. So we will create a new set of UV maps. And then using those maps, we will project our old texture onto a new texture by baking the texture. This new texture will be a lot more consolidated. And so we can send it into stable diffusion to get an even newer <laughs> texture. And then that newer texture, we will replace with the baked texture. And then that will be our retextured model. There's actually a huge number of use cases for this, but like the thing that I was a little bit curious about is projecting this back onto reality. So using AR to like send these back to our augmented reality scene to see if we can kind of retexture objects that exist in the world <laughs> using stable diffusion. Okay, this is... <laughs> oh, this is cool. Uh... <laughs> So I really like the steampunk one in particular. So if you had some sort of game and you wanted to retexture the environment, I th I think this is like a good enough quality. I also didn't do a lot with materials or lighting. So there's, yeah, there's definitely a lot that can still be done with the materials here. Yeah, I think these pretty, like they speak for themselves. There's a lot of kind of interesting little details like the vampire one looks like it's kind of a bleeding woods type thing. So while editing, I could find so many mistakes that I made. So I didn't use the right color space. I the lighting is really bad. I don't think I use normal maps at all. I, I don't think I use the normal maps that I used in Blender at all in the AR scene. I think I didn't do smooth shading. There's like so many ways I could have made this better, but it's also still so cool. And when you have things that are really cool, but you've also made a lot of mistakes, it's like kind of awesome still. <laughs> I definitely made some not great decisions with regards to lighting in my AR scene. As you can see within the cycles engine, it actually looks significantly better. So I definitely just need to work a little bit on my um lighting yeah <laughs> So if you're curious about trying this yourself, there's basically three tutorials that you need to track down. So one on photogrammetry, one on remeshing, and one on stable diffusion. So in particular, the one that I found very useful is I found this really helpful remeshing tutorial for photogrammetry. So a lot of remeshing tutorials end up assuming things that you can't about photogrammetry. So this one in particular just has a bunch of neat tricks. There are so many possibilities. <laughs> well, that's all I have for today. Have a good day. <laughs>